Today, I'm going to be covering a fairly new and young Linux distribution. As a matter of fact, most of the people I have spoken to have never even heard of it. It was first brought to my attention back in December of 2021. At that time, I downloaded it, used it, and I was really impressed with it. It is Ultra Marine Linux. It's a Fedora-based distribution featuring extra package repositories such as RPM Fusion and Multimedia Codex. Ultramarine can be considered a spiritual successor to the Corora project and aims to make Fedora a more desktop-friendly experience. So that's what we're going to be covering today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is brought to you by OnlyOffice. If you want to go to their website, it's OnlyOffice.com. Are you presently running something like a Google Docs or using Microsoft Online? Do you know that all of your emails, photos, and everything they have access to, they can read, they can use for whatever they want? Don't believe me? Go look it up. You don't have that problem with OnlyOffice. It's a secure office and productivity suite. Now, if you scroll down on their website, you've got OnlyOffice Docs, which is collaborative online document editors, you got spreadsheets, documents, presentations, and forms. It's got the highest compatibility with Microsoft Office, easy integration with ready-to-use connectors, and WOPI support and well-documented API. And then you also have OnlyOffice Workspace. Do you have a business? You can run your entire business through OnlyOffice. It's got document, email, CRM, projects, calendar. It's got enhanced security features, including private rooms, LDAP and Active Directory authentication, compliance, and international security standards. And speaking of security, let's go over here and let's take a look at the security real quick. It lets you know we provide a comprehensive range of security tools and services keeping your data safe on all fronts. Host solutions on premises, encrypt documents and data, customize access settings, and connect authentication services, and manage access rights to protect yourself from unauthorized access, data leaks, and insider actions. Now let's go back real quick. In one of my favorite things I like about it, it's available for Windows, Mac OS, and for Linux. If you use Linux, you can get OnlyOffice. It is a great tool. You can also get it on the Google Play Store for your Android phone or at the Apple iTunes Store for your iPhone. So zip on over and check it out. OnlyOffice.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now, let's get to the video. We are presently at Ultramarine's webpage, which is ultramarine-linux.org. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. And you can see they have a beautiful little web page. And there's another thing I want to tell you right now. If you try out Ultramarine and you like it and you already have a Fedora install, there's a migration code that all you got to do is enact this right here. And it'll put Ultramarine right on top of your Fedora installation. This is Ultramarine Flagship 36 Rhode Island. And if you scroll down a little bit, it tells you a little bit about it. It was designed for your own personal workstation or battle station, whatever you might want to call that. It is designed to be as easy to use as possible and stays out of the way. The best way I can describe Ultramarine is it is what to Linux Mint is to Ubuntu. So Linux Mint to Ubuntu is Ultramarine to Fedora. That's the best way I can put it. It's designed to be 100% bug for bug compatible with Fedora. It provides a developer friendly environment and it applies common tweaks and settings to make sure your out-of-the-box experience is as smooth as it can be. Now they do have some sponsors. And then if we go back up, if we go to download, their flagship edition is in the Budgie desktop environment. They're also working on a Cutefish edition, which is in early development, and they only recommend it at this moment for advanced users. I have used the Cutefish edition, and it's got a few bugs in it, but they're getting it right, and I can't wait to try it. Then they also have it in the GNOME, and then you can also get it with the Pantheon desktop environment like with Elementary OS. Now you can download it direct, or they do have torrents right down here. So I'm going to go back up top. They also do have an About, which is a, on the other page where we were just at, and then they do have a Wiki as well. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to Ultramarine's desktop. And if you download Ultramarine, throw it on a USB, or open it up into a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. I love the layout. It's really minimalistic, but it looks good. I like it. I like the icon set they use for the taskbar, and I do like the budgie menu that pops up over here. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna right click on the desktop. We've got budgie desktop settings, 
and you have system settings. So let's go ahead and check out the Budgie desktop settings. And right here, you've got style. You can change the way your widgets look right here. Fluid round dark, icons, cursors, notification position. Do you want them to pop up in the bottom right? Or you can change it to bottom left, top right, top left. You've got a little bit of control there. You can turn the dark theme on and off right here. And then there's a built-in theme. When enabled, the built-in theme will override the desktop component styling. And then your animations. And then desktop. Over here, if you want desktop icons, all you got to do is flip that switch right there. And you get your desktop icons over here. I'm going to go ahead and leave those off. And then active mounts, of course. You can turn that on. Now your active mounts right here is showing inactive because I am in a virtual machine. But if you do try this on a live USB or install it, you'll be able to turn that on or off. Then home directory, add a shortcut to your home directory on the desktop, and then trash. So when we turn those on, you've got your live user home directory and trash right there. Now, if you don't want those to show, you can shut them off, and then you could just have your installed hard drive or your mounts loaded up right here. We're gonna go ahead and shut that back off click policy right now it's on single click if you want to double click to open you can do that right there i'll leave it on single and then of course your icon size you can adjust if you want to and then the number of virtual desktops that you have right here and then you can of course change your fonts you can adjust those for window titles documents interface monospace text scaling hinting and anti-aliasing and then you do have your raven settings right here right now your ravens set for automatic now if you don't know what raven is if you come down here you've got a little white arrow right here if you click on that that is your raven setup you can change this and adjust it and put things in here and take things out uh, if we showed the calendar widget off and then click back open you can notice that the calendar disappears and then if you turn it back on it'll reset and then of course you can put your calendar back up now if you want to show week numbers on your calendar you can do that as well and then if you look up here, you'd have weak numbers that would show on the calendar. Raven gives you a little bit more power over your system. If you're playing any kind of multimedia in the background, you'll have adjustments here for the sound. You can shut it off, pause it, do whatever you want. There's also your microphone setting right here that you can adjust up and down. And then, of course, your notifications. Any notifications over here will be listed so they're not just all crunched up with your applets. So, but I enjoy Raven. If you get a chance and you do download this and you want to take a look at it, check Raven out. And then we go over to Windows. You can adjust different things that you want to do with your Windows here. Everything from attach model dialogs to Windows, all the way down to show all Windows in a tab switcher. And then your bottom panel, right here you can add applets if you want to to your bottom panel. Or remove them if you want to. Right now you've got the budgie menu, you've got your icon task list, which is in the center, which is right here. And then over here, you've got the system tray, separator, keyboard layout. Let's say you wanted to remove the keyboard layout. You could go ahead and click it, hit trash, remove applet, and the keyboard layout disappears. And then you could also go over to settings. You could position to the bottom if you wanted to. You could go to the left pop if you wanted to or drop it to the right. So you've got full adjustment on that. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the bottom. Then you can adjust the size of it if you want to. Make it bigger or make it smaller. That's up to you. And then you could also add a shadow, add a decorative shadow. Style the region's dock mode. When in dock mode, the panel will use a minimal amount of space. So if you click on that, it brings it over here to a nice small mode. And then when you click on that, Raven still comes up over here on your right hand side. So let's close Raven and let's go ahead and go back to panel. And then auto start, it lets you know right here, the only thing that starts up when you auto start is your welcome to ultramarine. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of that. We're gonna right click again, and then we're gonna go to system settings. And if you're familiar with GNOME, these will look a little bit familiar to you. If you go up top, you've got network, Bluetooth, you can adjust the background if you want to. I think it's just a one click and it automatically changes it. There you go. I kind of like that, so I'm gonna leave that up. Then you've got your notifications, multitasking, application, sound power, just your general basic settings that you have on a Linux distribution. Let's go ahead and go to About. And if you open this up, it lets you know the device name is Fedora. Hardware lets you know you're using an i7 Ultramarine Linux 36, Budgie version 10.5.3, and virtualization is being run through Oracle. 
so we're going to go back up top and we're going to go ahead and close out of this i want to go ahead and right click on the panel and it doesn't do anything so we'll come over here and open up the application launcher you've got accessories right here you've got connections if you're not familiar with connections this is the way you can pretty much share desktops between any computers and right here it just says just hit the plus button to make your first connection so you could turn sharing on on a windows or linux or a mac and be able to run that pc from right here so i'm going to go ahead and close out of that come back down to the app manager and we will go ahead and open up files and if you open it up i love the theming that they're using here i like the transparency in the folders you can kind of see through them and then they've got the icons on them as well and then up top you've got a little bit of transparency up here but it's your basic file manager it doesn't get in your way it lets you get things done it's version 42.1.1 lightweight but still powerful at the same time so i'm going to go ahead and close out of that go back over here to accessories then you've got gnome clocks wall street control weather and then window shuffler i like window shuffler i know a lot of people love the tiling but i do like window shuffler too especially because you can use shortcuts on the keyboard to do what you want with it like if you got this open right here this kind of gives you some cheat sheet right here of what it actually does so i'm going to go ahead and click so we select this if i wanted to move this to bottom left all you got to do is do Control alt one and it moves it down to the bottom left you can also go to Control alt two and it would actually take up the whole bottom half of the screen and then if you wanted to go to the top half you could go Control alt eight and it moves it up there we'll move it back down so what i'm going to do right now is go ahead and move it up to the top left Control alt 7 and we put it back where it is this will work on any window that you have open for any application so that way you can kind of have a little bit more control over your tiling and how you want to set things up i know a lot of people love the tiling in the pop shell if you do take ultramarine for a test drive i highly suggest you play around with the window shuffler you can add custom layouts you can also adjust window rules set yourself up an applet and then of course miscellaneous so what's really nice is once you set this up you could set up an applet and if you have your layout laid in it when you click that applet it will have your custom layout set up to where you can do your workflow the way you want to so definitely check that out if you do give this a test drive we will go back up to accessories we've already looked through all that and then education graphics internet office other you've got your budgie control center which i think we've already taken a look at but i want to pull that back up yes we have system settings and budgie control center are one and the same you've got cheese sound recorder videos system tools you can install it to the hard drive we have htop let's go ahead and take a look at htop and right now with just the terminal open I've issued this machine 4 gigabytes of RAM. We're presently using 900 megabytes with just terminal open, which isn't too bad. It's less than a gig. But I will have people say that that's extremely heavy because if we're not running something that's only using 200 megabytes on the desktop, then it's too heavy. But this is still a beautiful distribution, and I still believe that is pretty light. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. We'll go back up here, sound and video, system tools and we will check out software. Now we will wait for the software catalog to be downloaded and updated, so that will take a moment. Now the software center has loaded and populated, and as you can see, it's got a nice layout. It's just like Fedora. But one of the things that I like about Ultramarine is it comes with RPM Fusion installed out of the box, so you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. Now, if we go up here to search, I know for a fact that OBS Studio is only available on rpm fusion so i'm going to go ahead and look it up and there's obs studio right there you just click on it it'll load your application details right here and then you can install it from there so that makes things a whole lot easier fedora is a great os but sometimes you need things a little easier for some people like mint makes it easier to use in a ubuntu based system than using ubuntu and I think Ultramarine is going to do the same thing for Fedora. You can download Ultramarine and pretty much plug it, play, and go and be ready to get to work and be ready to start downloading the software that you need and to be able to get things done. So let's zip back on over here to the app menu and go to utilities. We've got system monitor, screenshot, password, and keys. And that is pretty much it. That's pretty much a look at Ultramarine Linux.
I think it's a very impressive distribution. The overall look is clean, aesthetically pleasing. I like the icon set. I like the theming. It is very beautiful and at the same time very functional. You get the power of Fedora with all the extras already preloaded. Like I said, it's what Linux Mint is to Ubuntu, Ultramarine is to Fedora. Tell me what you think. Is it something you might download, throw in a USB, put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. If you get a chance, be sure to zip on by the eBus Central store. Take a look around. If you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up. If you would like to see something on the store that's not there, please let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to get it up there for you. And do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation on PayPal, or zipping on over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.